Hello everyone and welcome to another Connect Spider video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a little experiment using the Rode Wireless Go To microphone system. As you can see I'm wearing one of the transmitters on my shirt right now and the original reason that I bought this system was when Leslie and I are doing our travel videos and I'm trying to film her the audio was just not good because she was fairly far away from the camera and I didn't want to keep sticking the camera right at her to get the auto better. So we figured this was a good option for that. The other thing I'm going to try today is I'm going to try using the wireless go transmitter and receiver as an audio source in my helmet when I'm riding the spider. I got this idea from a friend and fellow YouTuber, Yukon Bob. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. He does SeaDo videos and he's had really good results using um, these microphones when he's on the SeaDo, even riding at speed. Okay, so we're well into Go Home Bay now. I think this is about the furthest we've been before. We're going to just keep on going back into the bay, see how far back we can go, maybe right to the end of it. Let's just do a little audio test with the wind blowing and going at some speed to see how the audio records like this. I've got the, the, the wind muff on the uh, microphone, so that should help with the noise, but still it's pretty noisy. We'll see how this picks up. If this works, this will be really great. So we're going to get this thing hooked up in the spider. Uh, first, I'm going to do a bit of a comparison with the regular setup I use in the helmet and then we're going to put the wireless go system in place and see what that sounds like. So stay with us and I hope you enjoy the video. So the first part of our test will just be the normal way that I always record audio when I'm using the GoPro on top of the helmet. The microphone that's used for this is a, just a regular lav mic that is buried in that cheek pad right there to keep it away from the wind. I also have the GoPro set up with no wind reduction and as soon as you plug the microphone in it just defaults to that microphone. So the wire just runs through the helmet and I'll just show you where it comes in at the back here. So it just runs out the back of the helmet and plugs into the back of the media mod that the GoPro is mounted inside. So we'll do this run and then we'll switch everything over and we will get the wireless go transmitter mounted inside the chin bar and we'll take that for a run and make some comparisons. Okay so this is the next part of our test. So I have installed the wireless go setup. That's the receiver on the um, GoPro and it just plugs in at the back just like a microphone would and the transmitter is right down in there inside the chin bar of my helmet and you can see the dead cat there that's kind of smushed up against the cheek pad that's where the microphone is going to be and I did it that way so it kind of wouldn't get in the way of my face and I think it gives it a bit more protection from the wind. Okay, so this is the first test. Um, we're just using the regular audio setup that I use all the time when I'm filming with the GoPro on top of my helmet, um, the microphone in the cheek pad version. And this is what it sounds like and we're traveling at 70 kilometers an hour. And with me talking, it sounds like this. And without me talking, it sounds like this. So this is just the ambient noise of the wind and the motorcycle on its own. Okay, so we're replicating the first part of the test with the wireless go transmitter inside the chin bar of the helmet and we've got our 70 kilometer test with me talking and now you can just listen to 
ambient noise and the motorcycle noise on its own. Okay, so this is just the sound of being in town, just going regular speeds around the neighborhood. So the sound of me talking at low speeds, I don't expect this to be any problem as I've got had lots of recordings of the this microphone set up at these speeds. So we're just going to do a little loop through town and then we'll head back out to the highway to try the higher speed stuff. So for those of you that don't follow my channel, I live in a little town called Fenland Falls, Ontario, Canada, which is about two hours north of Toronto, northeast of Toronto. And uh, it's a busy place on the weekends, as you can see. There's lots of people coming into town for their cottages. Uh, Fenland Falls is also got a lock number 34 on the Trent Severn waterway so that's a big attraction for town as well okay so we're just back in town again we've got the wireless go transmitter and receiver handling the audio right now this is just our kind of in-town speed test I don't expect this to be too much difference than with the lav mic. Okay, so this is 80 kilometers an hour with me talking. I do have a fair bit of experience with this uh, setup on the higher speeds. Um, 80 seems to be about the sweet spot where I don't get any interference between the ambient noise and wind noise in my voice. Um, but we're going to run it up to 90 and that's usually when I would sometimes get some crackling sounds coming from um, this microphone and plugged into the GoPro. I'm just going to run here with uh, me not talking so you can hear the ambient sound. Okay, so now we're at 80 kilometers an hour um, with the wireless go in the chin bar. And we'll uh, run it up to 90 here and uh, see if there's any change. Okay, so this is 90 kilometers an hour and this would be the point where I could get some breakup um, in the audio when I'm talking and there's some wind noise from the bike moving. So this is me talking, this is what it sounds like. And now I'm going to just record some of the ambient sound of motorcycle noise. Okay, so this is at 92 kilometers an hour see if we've got good audio while I'm talking and then we'll get a sample of just the ambient noise and the motorcycle noise coming up. Okay, so that's the end of the trial with the wireless Go transmitter in the chin bar and the receiver mounted up on the side of the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. I'll be very curious to see if there is a difference between the two and what the differences are. So I just finished editing all that video and I thought I would just kind of summarize um, what I saw on the, on the video as comparing the two audio sources for the helmet. First off, I want to give uh, a bit of a shout out to my friend Bob, Yukon Bob, um, for letting me use that short clip 
from his uh, sea doo video bombing up Go Home Bay up in the Georgian Bay area of Ontario. Um, that kind of um, put an exclamation point on the performance capabilities of these road wireless mic microphones in a very windy condition with no protection whatsoever, other than the the dead cat that's installed on top of the uh, of the microphone. So comparing the two together, I noticed that the the wireless Go microphone in all of the tests was a lot crisper than my uh, microphone that was mounted inside the cheek pad. The primary reason for that, I believe, is that the cheek pad mic is buried inside a cheek pad, so therefore it has kind of a muffled sound, whereas the the wireless Go microphone was right in front of my mouth, which also led um, to a little bit of distortion that I noticed in it, but it, um, it is not really designed to be um, spoken into that close. It's designed to be spoken into like I'm wearing it right now. I did notice, however, that the wireless Go um, did a lot better at the higher speeds. Um, you will notice in the 90 kilometer run during the standard mic, I did get a couple of clicks in there, which I've noticed before using that setup with the GoPro. So the wireless Go did sound good um, in that environment. Is the wireless Go a good solution for the a helmet audio system? Well, it is two extra pieces that you have to deal with. Um, there is battery life you have to deal with, although they both are claimed to have seven hours of battery life. The transmitter was a little bit bulky inside the helmet, um, but um, you know it did have good audio performance. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you very much for watching another Connect Spider video. I hope you found it interesting and informative, and I'll see you in the next one.